every organism is the outcome of two factors heredity and environment heredity is contributed by the parents while environment is the contribution of nature the importance of environmental studies was felt in 1970 due to the origin of pollution problem it was also realized that public awareness is necessary regarding the protection of environment and that is why the ugc introduced environment as a subject not only for the students of science but also for the students of arts and commerce throughout india Out of the nine planets around the sun, the Earth is the only planet where life exists. All organisms along with Earth and the atmosphere form the biosphere. Environment is the base for the origin and evolution of life. Dinosaurs which dominated the Earth in the Mesozoic era 6 million years ago were fossilized due to the unfavorable environment definition the word environment has two parts environ meaning surroundings and ment meaning the result of it thus means everything that surrounds an organism hence Environment is the sum total of living and non-living components, influences and events surrounding an organism. According to Tansley, sum total of all effective factors in which an organism lives is environment. The moment we utter the word environment, we feel the presence of soil, water, mountains ponds deserts etc we are also reminded of climatic factors like temperature humidity rainfall etc thus environment means the summation of living that is biotic non living abiotic factors in an organism scope and importance The scope of environment is very wide. It includes the study of atmosphere, troposphere and hydrosphere. Innumerable microbes which are not visible to us are also a part of environment. Judicious utilization of natural resources like soil, water and minerals is also a part of environment. To avoid destruction in the name of development is also a part of the study of environment natural hazards such as volcanoes and earthquake disturb the balance of nature multidisciplinary natured environmental studies are connected with several other subjects botany and environment Green plants are the primary producers. They produce food by using carbon dioxide and water. Sunlight is source of energy. Every green leaf is a solar cooker. The process of food manufacture is called photosynthesis. Oxygen is produced which is vital for all organisms. The food produced by the green plants not only supports the plants but also the animals all animals are consumers the green plants are the basis of all the living world hence study of botany is connected with the environment zoology and environment animals are an important component of the environment they can be carnivorous or herbivorous The balance of animals in biosphere is important for the overall balance of the environment. 
man is an omnivorous animal and presently is considered to be the most dangerous he has disturbed the balance of environment man cuts forests converts them into agricultural land and thereafter agricultural land to residential colonies multi storied buildings are concrete jungles which are replacing the natural jungles it is due to this mistake of man that foreign weeds like carrot weed have entered from mexico thus study of environment is connected with human activities also chemistry and environment chemical structure of soil water and gases in air acid rains ozone layers depletion and study of greenhouse gases is done in chemistry this study is also connected with environment issues physics and environment light heat radioactivity and noise pollution are covered in the discipline of physics they also affect the environment geology and environment minerals are obtained from the earth by digging very deep digging results in earthquakes which disturbs the environment hence geology and environment are also interdisciplinary geography and environment latitude longitude height from mean sea level affect the vegetation as well as animals and ultimately the environment thus geography and environment are also interrelated law and environment man is becoming the enemy of environment to protect the environment legislative measures are to be implemented so law studies getting connected to the environment awareness about the environment it is needless to say that the very existence of man depends upon the balance of environment industrialization and economic progress have taken place at the cost of degradation of environment poverty population and pollution are the common problems faced by developing countries like india pure air and pure water are luxury for big cities one has to pay a very high price for these gifts of nature it was therefore realized by the world to create an awareness regarding the environment the uno organized a conference on environment at stockholm on 5th june 1972 Shrimati Indira Gandhi the then prime minister of India considered poverty as the biggest pollutant of environmental balance in the memory of this conference 5th june is observed as the world environment day every year on this day newspapers radio and television focus their attention on environmental problems Bhopal gas tragedy due to leakage of MIC methyl isocyanate from union carbide resulted in the death of 2500 people and about 1 lakh are suffering today from chest trouble and vision problems Justice Krishna Iyer called this tragedy Bhoposhima on the lines of the atomic bomb explosion in Hiroshima this is the biggest air pollution tragedy of the world in 1986 an explosion took place in the nuclear power plant in chernobyl in russia 
about 1 million people were affected and this power plant was closed down. Water of several rivers is polluted due to factory waste. Water of hand pumps contains arsenic and fluoroids beyond the standards and limits. It has toxic effects. It is therefore necessary to create awareness about the environment in common man. Government of India started Ministry of Environment and also passed Forest Act in 1972. Government of Madhya Pradesh implemented the Forest Act in 1974. The Parliament has added Articles 48A and 51A in the Constitution. Article 48A It is the duty of the state government to protect and improve the environment. The government has to protect the forest and the wildlife. Article 51A it is the responsibility of every Indian citizen to protect the natural environment, which includes forest, lakes, rivers and wildlife. Every Indian citizen should have compassion for living creatures. At world level, the following programs have been started by man. International Biological Program Man and Biosphere Program started in 1970 by UNESCO, Stockholm Conference from 5th to 16th June 1972, International Geosphere Biological Program 1986, The Earth Summit, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil 1992, World Conference on Natural Disaster, Yokohama, Japan 1996, Kyoto Protocol, Kyoto, Japan, 1997 World Conference on Sustainable Development in Johannesburg, South Africa, 2001 and the World Conference on Global Warming, Bali, Indonesia, 2007 Programs regarding environmental awareness at the level of governmental and non-governmental organizations. Animal Welfare Fortnight from 14th January. World Forest Day, 21st January. World Environment Day, 5th June. World Animal Day, 3rd October. World Habitat Day, 4th October. World Wildlife Week from Monday of the first week of October and the World Conservation Day, 3rd December. Van Mahotsav, started by the then Minister Honorable K. Munshi in India from 1950. In the month of July and February, plantation is done by the Forest Department. Chipko movement started by Sri Chandi Prasad Bhatt of Tehri Garhwal, Uttaranchal from 1973 onwards. He was followed by Sri Sundarlal Bahuguna of Gopeshwar in Chamli district of Uttaranchal. Whenever any contractor of government agency tries to fall trees, village people hug the trees to save them. On the lines of Chipko movement, Sri Pandurang Hegre has started the Apiko movement in the south. It is due to this movement that the silent valley of Kerala could be saved from destruction of natural vegetation. Social Forestry This program was started in Gujarat in 1974. Its aim is to establish connection between society and plantation. It will not be out of the way to mention a Chinese saying. If you are planning for one year, grow a rice plant. If you are planning for 10 years, grow a tree. But if you are planning for 100 years, then create awareness in man. 